Hi, this is Joe Daniels again with uh, another look at animation in VR. Um, I want to show you something that I've been working on recently. For some people who have been asking questions about what it's like and how it works to animate in VR, uh, I'll show you a little bit uh, about what it is. So um, this is a work in progress of something I've been doing lately. I've got to give her some clothes at some point. Um, but yes, this is animation, hand-drawn animation in VR. Every frame is drawn by hand. Um, but if I pause this here, you can see that uh, the drawing holds up from every angle that I want to uh, move around it. That makes for a really fun way of, of drawing because you're kind of sculpting uh, the forms in space. This is Anim VR that I'm using. And um, I, I should say that the developers have done an amazing job in developing and building this app. Uh, and it's going to change a lot. So uh, when this comes out and is available for you to, to play with, it may look considerably different. Um, but I uh, just want to show you kind of how this works. So you have the ability to turn on onion skinning. And uh, you can toggle, you know, opacity of, of uh, how many drawings before and afterwards that you want to toggle. Uh, so you can turn that on and off. So it, it feels very much like a, a traditional animation uh, software that you might be familiar with. And then you can step through the frames pretty easily. Um, you can take frames and hold them for a period of time. So this animation right here is playing back currently at 12 frames a second, but most of my drawings are on twos, um, so it's it's like six frames a second, except where I, I do have a few drawings on ones, for those of you that are uh, familiar with the terminology. So yes, I could go in and, and create in-betweens between this, uh, and there's there's a lot you know to clean up and tie down and, uh, and color, but this kind of gives you an idea of what hand-drawn animation could look like in VR. The really neat thing about this is you can bring in 3D models uh, and then you can also export all of this uh, back to Maya to be able to see. I also have this uh, intro that I'm working on besides just the looping swinging part where our girl character here runs and lassos the, uh, the log, jumps off and goes into uh, a swing here. And uh, so you can see I've, I've done the, uh, the line animation here, and I have just the head at this point in the fills. Um, and then I'll, I'll go in and draw all the different lines for the rest of the body and uh, make sure that that's working well in the round. That's kind of a work in progress of, of where that introduction is at. So you can have different clips within a, a scene and you know, export them and edit them together um, to make, you know, to make a sequence of animation. So I'm, I'm absolutely fallen in love with this and uh, drawing in VR is so much fun. Um, I'm still getting the hang of which lines to put down and, and how to describe a form in the best way. Um, but I, I'm just having a blast. So why don't I open a different scene that we can look at, uh, which is a drawing and then kind of show for some of you who haven't had the chance to draw in VR, show you what that looks like. Here's a quick story sketch warm up that I did this morning um, just to, to loosen up. And, and this was about, oh, 30 seconds of sketching the gesture and 30 seconds of adding a fill. So you could see that for something like storyboarding, um, even though there's a lot I could improve with this drawing, um, you could see that you can get something down fast. And uh, for, for a storyboard, you, you have the ability to throw in some cameras and get you know, kind of a shot over here and a shot over there. And I mean, it really does hold up from a ton of different angles um, without too much effort. So why don't I uh, sketch out another snake here so you can see a little bit of, of the, the process of what this looks like. All right, I'm gonna add another layer so that I can easily modify or delete what I'm doing here. And uh, there's a, a bunch of different brushes and, and things that you can use. I'm just going to use a very simple cube brush. Uh, and uh, it's black. And it's set so that if I draw, um, I can get really tiny lines. You can see that there. 
Uh, and then as I push a little bit harder, I can go thicker and I can do everything in between and taper back. Um, and then it's very easy to undo, which is one of the buttons that's on uh, the controller that you're holding is undo. So you can draw, you know, and then oh, I'll undo those really quick. So let's draw a snake here and I'm, I'm just going to rotate around my drawing. Let's, maybe there's another snake coming in from this side here. And uh, yeah, I can just draw a line. And then um, instead of drawing, you know, the, the, the snake head and, you know, it flattening out from the side, um, I might want to start by kind of drawing more of a, a contour around the, the shape of the head and uh, maybe describe the bottom and the top and I'll add some eyes now, you know, something like that. So it's, it's a little bit of a trick to think in 3D, but you can always go in and you know erase extra lines uh, to simplify it. Maybe let's get a little bit of a, a tongue coming out of there. And uh, get that other side of his body there. You don't get the idea when you're just watching this in a, a video like, like you guys are, but if you're in VR, each of these strokes is dimensional. And so it's, it's easier to see what you're doing and what lines you're putting down uh, because you, you can see how far away this controller is from you. And then if, if I look at this, um, let's say I were to draw kind of some lines over and maybe under, what happens is you end up seeing uh, through the model, like this line here is, is kind of distracting from the eye. So maybe I only want to see that if I'm looking at the drawing from underneath. Uh, and that's where it can be really useful to come in here with a fill. And just really quickly, I can do that. And let's see if I can get like a nice single stroke to describe this. Yeah. And if this is a quick storyboard drawing that I want to do, that is probably going to be about all that I need to describe these forms. Cool. So now we've added an extra snake. Um, and oh, let's let's duplicate this. Okay, I'll put this one. Yeah, maybe coming in from this side. There we go. And maybe let's make that snake a little bit smaller. Um, cool. So you can see that pretty quickly, we are able to sketch out this drawing. And uh, of course, this is animatable. So if I, I wanted to, I could just, you know, start drawing the next frame of the storyboard, or I could, like, let's say I wanted to just have his eyes move over to look at this snake. All that would mean is duplicating this frame that I have and then coming in here and selecting the eyeballs. And uh, let's move those over and down. And now I have these two drawings that I can switch between where he's looking here and he's looking there. I would be shocked if this if this workflow doesn't transform the way that we, we board things for film. The ability to do a drawing and be able to look at that from multiple different angles and tweak your, your camera after the, after the drawing is drawn is, I mean, gives you that flexibility that we just want to have in production. So uh, this was a look at drawing in NMVR, but really all this stuff applies whether you're drawing in tilt brush or quill. Um, or any other amazing VR app that comes about. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.